Well, it's kind of hard to, well, for me, it's kind of hard to say, you know, you're innocent and uh, you deserve a new trial and you didn't know what was going on when we'd have never been there if it wouldn't have been for you. Because she can tell everybody till she's blue in the face that, well, we were only going up there to talk to him. So you got four teenagers in your truck, in his truck, at 11 o'clock at night, and you're gonna drive five hours up to New York State in the middle of the morning to confront your husband with a loaded gun in the car and one teenager that he does not like. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get that. But you know, we were young and dumb, so. I took my plea and I copped out and I stood in front of the judge and told him what I did and how I did it. And then when it came time for sentencing and they handed down the sentences, 25 years of life. And the state trooper said, no, they didn't. They gave you 50 to life. And I went, what? No, they gave me 25. He said, no, they gave you 50. So then when I got back to the county jail and tried to contact my public defendant, I was informed by his secretary that he no longer worked for me once I was sentenced. So yeah, I was a little bit upset. No, I didn't kill Bruce Kellogg for Lori. I killed Bruce Kellogg for somebody else. Who? No, I can't tell you that. I know why I did what I did, and I know who I did it for. Did you kill Bruce because of the allegations of, that he had sexually abused the young girls? Mm, I don't know if I want to talk to you about that. That's 26 years of silence. That's okay, that's up to you.